I don't think we can ever fall out of love. I think that love takes its form in so many different ways, whether it's through family, through romantic love, through friendships, or through a general love of life and of existence and of everything around us. I noticed that with every single person that I genuinely loved, like genuinely that, that unconditional love, and even if we're not meant to be in this lifetime, if there's other things or other factors that keep us from being with each other, whether it's uh, romantic relationships or friendships, I still have a lot of love and appreciation for those individuals that have been in my life. And I think of them fondly. And I go about my day and sometimes their memory pops into my mind and I think to myself, I hope they're doing well. I hope that all is well with them. I hope that they find happiness, that they find unconditional love, that they find a sense of purpose and belonging. And, and I hope that for them. I don't think I've ever felt like I fell out of love with people. I think that that love just transforms into something different. For example, with somebody that I was in a relationship with, after breaking up for X or Y reason, I still think of that individual. And although I might not have that romantic love for them, I still have that love, but in the general sense, and that I hope that they find happiness and that I hope that life is good for them. And that, and I have this appreciation for the memories that we spent together and the love that I did feel in that moment. Although it looks different, I still think that it falls under the same umbrella of love. I really do. And so I don't think that we can fall out of love with people. I think that that love just changes. It changes its form. And for centuries, for years, we try to make sense of what love means. What is this love thing? How does it look like? How does it manifest? How does it feel like, more importantly? And we're still trying to find the answers to those questions. And I find this term to fall out of love with somebody so counterintuitive because to live life is to love abundantly. It's to love everything around you. It's to love existence and life. life it, love is not just something that you provide somebody with. Love it's a, is a state of being, a state of existence. You exist in love. And I think that regardless of what your perspective is on what love looks like, on the different types, as the Greeks would have you know, that there are different types of love, like we discussed the familial love, the friendship love, the romantic love, the obsessive love. There's so many different forms of the same thing, all with its different set of characteristics to identify each other. But at the end of the day, it's still that same love. And to fall out of love with somebody or to fall out of love with friendships or individuals or people, I feel is to fall out of alignment with existence. Because to exist, you need to love, regardless of what that looks like, regardless of what form it takes. You need love. We need love to exist. That is why we exist. We exist for love. We do. And I get it, you know? I get that if you're in a relationship with somebody for a long time and you start to not have those feelings anymore, those romantic feelings, you'd say, well, I fell out of love with that person. Which is true. You fell out of that romantic love with that individual. 
But even then, even in those moments, you still feel that within you. A different type of love, a different type of appreciation, a different type of feeling for the individual, for the existence of the individuals themselves. And regardless if that's considered as healthy or not, I think that if we look at it in that way, if we look at love as ever encompassing, I think that we would generally have a better relationship with the people that hurt us, that berate us, that betray us, that cheat on us, that hurt us in unmeasurable ways. I think that if we were to look at it as acceptance of oneself and of the other individual and choosing for ourselves whether we want those people in our life or not does not discount the fact that we do not love them. We love them. Of course we do. We love everything and all. But in this body, in your body, in our body, in our boundaries, we need to choose to do what is best for us. And that is love, too. Love of oneself. And so, if we were to disregard love completely, to fall out of love, we would not exist. We would not be bodies or entities or people that exist. We cannot. We cannot be. Because as fucking cheesy as it is, love is life. Love is existence. And I've had people in my life that have come, that have gone, and with every individual that, I, that has come and that has gone, I, I feel that sense of maybe I do not feel the same type of love that I did when I was with them, but that transformed into something different. It's not to fall out of love. It's to be in love. But love looks so different. And the worst part of this is that it looks and feels different for everybody. What I might be saying might not be the same to you. Maybe you think of it differently than I do. And that's why we can never, ever decide what love actually means. We can never come to a consensus or, or an understanding about what love actually means because. Love is one of the only ephemeral things that exists that we cannot describe, that we cannot put into words, that we can try our best to. We can try our best, our, we can try our whole lives to put this feeling into words. And we can disagree and we can argue and we can <laughs> talk about it all day. But the reason I think for that is because love is just existing. They're two sides of the same coin. There would be no life without love. So one can never fall out of love. It just might look different and that's okay. And that's fine. And for that, we can argue all day long about what that means. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. My name is Alex. I make videos on the internet talking about whatever I feel like talking about. And sometimes I stream video games if you're into that. So I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay? Bye. <laughs>